A disabled veteran becomes the victim of identity theft. More than $1,000 has been stolen from his bank account. In this Six on Your Side investigation, Mike McKnight shows us video of a suspect and how he took money from someone who couldn't afford to lose it. If multiple sclerosis hadn't weakened him, Jim Riley would be riding on a different set of wheels, his restored vintage 1936 Ford. Yes, I wish I was driving it. And the disabled veteran has another wish that he hopes Sarpy County Sheriff's Detective Matt Brawl can make come true, an arrest in the theft from his bank account. Yeah, I've got some photos of who we believe is a suspect. Video from an Omaha store shows a suspect cashing a wire transfer of $1,200. The money came from Jim's debit account. It's easy to just go online and use just what's on the card, and if they know your name, they can wire money right out of your account. And the unsuspecting clerk counts out 12 $100 bills that the suspect takes like it's his own money and calmly walks out the door. While interviewing the victim, the detective learns what might have happened. Jim had given a credit card to a prior caregiver. How that account information got into the hands of a suspect is part of the puzzle that Jim hopes can be figured out. He's on a fixed income with medical bills and can't afford to have more money stolen. Food, uh, you tell it. Utilities. Now you got to scrimp and save. Jim remembers giving his credit and debit cards to past caregivers. Like his hobby, he's old fashioned. Because you trust them. Something he says he can't afford to do anymore. Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. Although the victim provided some good leads, the detectives say it may take some time to develop a suspect. We will let you know if there's a break in the case.